What's up, trendsetter gang? I'm doing this for my thumbnail because I noticed I'm not, I haven't been doing them well. But guys, I'm using like my makeup. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial for y'all. This, you know. These tutorials take a long time. I'm so used to just being in the mirror and doing it myself. But I'm going to do, do a little something for y'all. Okay? All right. Okay, so I got my little foundation on. My trusty foundation. Um, Let me just... Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a bit of gloss on. I think I'm gonna do my uh, do a new lip and do like a color eye because remember, well, I never told y'all, but when you're doing a pop of color on the eye, you don't need a, a a pink or anything here. You need to keep this nude and, you know, because you want whichever one you want to be your star player, the same thing I said on the fashion tip, that's the one you play up, the other ones you play down, okay? So, I'm gonna do a new lip, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of gloss on it, because my lips get really dry really fast, so... <clears throat> I'm getting, I don't know where this pink stuff coming out on my arm. So I'm going to do a new lip. I normally don't do my lips first, but I'm just putting a little bit on here. So they can, it's got lip conditioner in it so it can soften because my lips get dry at the drop of a dime. So, and especially too, I'm up here talking and doing this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Okay, so, <clears throat> <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do, I like to brush up my, my eyebrows, brush them up. And we're going to put on the highlighter, which is the around the eye, right in the arch of the eyes where you put the highlighter. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to be brief with this video because, child, I got so many nude palettes. I like nude. Nude is one of my favorite palettes, by the way. Okay. So we're going to do... Usually you can do like a white or a gold. I'm going to do a white. Just go right here. Now, <clears throat> you can brush this in or you can leave it and come back and brush it however you want to do it. Or you can brush it in with your fingers. I like to tap it in with my fingers after I get it on the line in, in the arch. I want to I wanna, um, just tap it a little bit with my fingers. Just blend it a little bit just so it's not so... so white like really opaque like chalky <clears throat> okay so i got a brush let me get my brush for that 
but I like to touch it with my hands. I do, I use my brushes, but I also use my hands. So, just so y'all know. Um, like, why is she using that, honey? She ain't got no brushes. Oh, I got some brushes, girl. I got some brushes for you. See, look at all these brushes I got. I got a ton of brushes. Okay, so you got your you got your crease, you got your highlighter. This is the highlighter shade, and I think I got it where I want it. I don't want I don't want to blend it in too much. I want you to still be able to see it. And then um, <coughs> let's see. I want to put on my blue. Let me let me put on my blue. I want to put on my blue because blue is my favorite color. So I, I wanted to definitely do a tutorial where I could show y'all the blues for show. Okay. Um, come on. Yikes. Mm -hmm. All right. So. How we gonna do this? Okay, so I think I want to do like a light blue. Yeah, let me do. I'm gonna do. No, I did that blue before. Let's do this one. I think I'm gonna do this one right here. I have addressed this color anyway, so. Now, at first, it's going to go on a little light. Don't worry about the excess. You see the blue right there, the excess? Don't worry about that. That's not a big deal. We can we can correct that with some um, foundation, or we can just wipe it off with a damp cloth. But either way it go, we got this. We got this. So this is Clean Color Rainbow Splendor. That's what the name of this palette is. <coughs> now, when you're putting on color, it's going to bleed. And what I mean by that, you see how it's on the side of my eye here? It's bleeding. It's dripping. But it's okay. We'll get it. Don't worry about it. It always happens like that. <coughs> when you're using really pigmented shades... <coughs> Now, how many of y'all like really pigmented shades? Because I do. I, look, I don't care if it's going to be a nude. I want you to be able to see that it's nude. You know, <clears throat> I don't like what they call, what I call invisible shades. When, especially when I do colors like this color. I want to show the richness of the color. And especially if you got an outfit to go with it. Definitely want to show. 
the richness of this color. This is like a turquoise. Don't worry about the bleeding, y'all. Don't worry about it. We gonna get that up. We gonna get that up. We gonna get that up. Alright. <clears throat> so I like to make sure my eyelids are heavily, heavily pigmented. Okay. Okay, though, and then and so we're going to do a um. Now we're going to do a lighter shade. I want to do a lighter shade on top. Okay, so this is the lighter shade that is going in the crease of the eye around here. And I'm going to bring the lightness, and I'm going to bring it up into blending with the other, the other makeup. Okay, see how I blended that in on the top? Okay, so like, let me um start wiping this. I'm gonna dry wipe it first. Dry wipe it. That's probably the best way to go. Um, and make sure it's nothing on the tissue that you, the part that you're wiping, make sure it doesn't have any color on it because it'll wipe back on your face. So get you a clean.
get you a clean see how I got that up y'all I don't want to wipe out too much of my foundation, but let me um, so so. Okay, and let me see. I feel like I need another shade of something. Something. So I got the turquoise on. So I got the turquoise and I got the light going up here in, in inside between the blue and the white highlighter. And I got it in the creases as well of the eye. If y'all can see. Okay. I think I got some more bleeding out on me. Okay. And... Okay, so we got our two colors. We got a light color and we have the turquoise. We got a light, a faint, a really light. I'm sorry, y'all. We have a really light turquoise. And we have um, we have the dark turquoise here, and we have the really light one. And I put it in the creases as well, if you can see. I'll be glad when I get better cameras and that kind of stuff. But y'all can see it a little bit better um, than in the other room. Um, I'm trying to see, should I try something like, maybe I can do a dark, um, let's see, I might do a dark green line, but let me put, let me put my lashes on first. But y'all see that? Okay, now this is if, if I just want to wear blue. This is, you know, a basic blue eye. Um, I'm going to try to bring it up a notch, but let me put my lashes on first. I see something right. Okay. Let me put my lashes on first.
And remember how I taught y'all how to put, ooh, how to put the lashes on. Okay, I get my little, my spoolie brush, and I always stick <coughs> my stick here to put on the lashes. I put a little glue, and I put it on the ridge of the lash. See that right there? Okay. And then I kind of, you know, wave it around so the glue can, you want the glue to dry to get a little tacky on the lash, okay? You definitely want that. And sometimes, depending on the blue, I don't like to do no no other colors, but sometimes these blues are so funny. So you have to kind of experiment with what you can and cannot do. Because um, I use the lighter shade of this turquoise, and it seems like it's blending in. <laughs> so I can't see the trans the transition between between. I'm sorry, the two. Um, I mean, I can, but not not like I want to see it. Um, but I got two colors on my eye. And you want to make sure the glue is tacky. You don't want it to dry. You just want it to get tacky. So when I put it to my eye, it's just going to hug my eye. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be hard to, you know, get it on my eye. Oh. I'm going to put it on looking right directly at y'all like y'all my mirror. See, it got attached really, oops, it's taking my nails with it. It got attached really fast. And you press your natural lash in with the false lashes. Okay. Okay, I'm having some, I was having some technical difficulty with this lash. Let me see how it's doing now. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so we're gonna try this again because I didn't I didn't get it right. It got stuck on my lash, but I wanted to get stuck on the the eye part, not the lash. And it happens, y'all. You gotta you just gotta keep. You got to keep trying to put it on. I can fix the makeup part. Don't worry about that. Um, you know, one thing about makeup, you got to keep doing it. It ain't, it's, you know, if you're learning how to do it, you need to practice a lot. Because <clears throat> it's not for the faint of heart. You, But you can get it, you know. It's not, I don't, I don't think it's that hard. Okay, now for the other lash. I'm going to fix this other one. I don't know. It's not doing what I want it to do, but we're going to keep moving on for the sake of time. When It always works when I go back and fix it. It's just acting weird so now. Ooh. Okay, so let's let's let this dry. Yeah, I gotta fix it because it looked like it's um Okay, this one this one went on perfect, y'all. This one I didn't have no problem with. But it's this one right here. So Oh, that was just a line. Okay, it was on my head. Okay. Um, let's see. What is that other brush? Brush, 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 brush. Okay, here's a better color. I like this color. And see, that's another thing I like. You can, you know, 
here is a shade. You got three different shades. You got the darker, the darker color. You got the lighter and the lighter. And this one works. So you can put it right here in the crease of the brow. Okay. But let me see if I can get some more pigment on this eye. I might have to use my other color. Yeah, I think I think this is too light. Let me try to use my other color. This is nice now. I like it, but this goes to show you how dramatic I like my I like to see transient colors. I want to see two or three colors on my eyes, at least two. Um but it's, I mean, everybody's not like me. Some people say this is, this is fine. No, I want to take it up a notch. So we're going to do that. Okay. So this is going to be the pigment bottom color. So I want to, the goal is to make this dark. I want it dark. Yeah. This is the shade. I want it darker. Now y'all see that difference? Can y'all see the more pigment? I like that. It's richer. It, now, now this is the the LA Colors palette. And yeah, I actually have two of these because my top broke on it. But this is the LA LA Colors palette of blues that I got from Dollar General. And I absolutely love it. Um, let's see. Now you can see the dark from the light. Now that's what I like. You can see the dark and you can see the light. And it is transition transitioning into the white, if that makes sense. Okay. That what I wanted. And see, that's another thing with makeup. If you're not getting what you want, you can keep on going to the next color. But you, I wouldn't advise this until you get to a certain level. Because you got to know what next colors to try. You just can't just start trying stuff. And this is what I used to do before I got really good at wearing makeup I would try the colors on make my face up before the day before I went somewhere and tried out the colors how and if they came out the way I imagined them or the way I wanted them to come out then I knew that's what I was gonna wear but I, I would practice with two or three shades to find out what color I was gonna wear um I knew what type of outfit I was gonna wear so I found the shade to go with it um let's see so we're gonna, I'm going to go back and reinforce the lighter colors. This looks like a sable. If y'all can see, this is the one I had on my eye, but it wasn't, I mean, I'm sorry, just, uh, this the one, but it, it, it wasn't dark enough. So I used the one from LA Colors and the one from LA Colors that's the one from LA Colors right there, and that's the richer one right there. And I used a mixture of this lighter version of the turquoise and an even lighter version, which is like I want to call it a sable, to give it the transition effect so it goes from light to dark. <coughs> And I find that it works when I mix them both because one of them is too lighter for the other. So, see that? Can y'all see that? See how it's white and it's going lighter and it's a darker. Look at that. Okay. 
I got what I wanted. And that's how I am. If I get what I want with the makeup, I'm satisfied. I'm, and I always get what I want because I have a vision in my head of what I want and how I want it to look. Just like I had a vision of how I was going to do this video today. Okay. So I have on a little bit of, I told you I got the LA Colors. This is the um, liquid. It's the liquid lip color, which I love because my lips are so dry. And they got the matte nude. I absolutely don't really care about the, the matte, but... And I put a little, uh-oh, I think, I think I got the wrong one on. I meant to put this one on. But it's okay. You see, you get more of a new, I just put the, um, this is the LA Colors Matte. I put it on top. See that? When you're doing colorful eyes, you can't have colorful lips. You can't have a pink or a red because it's too much going on. So you guys need to know that when you're doing heavy colors, do a very nude color or a gloss on your lips. You do not need a color on your eyes and on your lips. That's too much. It's too much. It's not appropriate. And the colors, no. You got red with blue eyes or purple lips with blue eyes. Ew. That's not cool. So, um... First, I had this on with just the gold length. And you can do the matte. You can just do the matte. You can do any kind of nude shade. It can be a lighter nude. It can be a matte nude. It can be any kind of nude. And then you see how you you let the eyes be the star player. The eyes are your star player. Okay? You don't need red lips when you got all that going on at the top of your eyes. Okay? You don't need it. Now, I'm the only one that's probably going to mix the high shine gloss with the LA colors, these are both LA colors, with the LA colors matte, only I'm going to do that, you see what I'm saying, only me, but it works, it works, and you, 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 when you experiment, you see what works for you, you see what works for you, So if y'all like this tutorial, <laughs> get ready with me. If y'all like this tutorial, tell me how you like it. Sometimes I do the cheeks. Let me do something for the cheeks for y'all before I do that. Because I don't really care, but for y'all, I'll do it. I don't really care about my cheeks like that. I mean, because they already chiseled. I mean, some people do it to get the chiseled look, but I already... I mean, my, my cheeks are pretty much already that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm going to use... Uh, that's not going to be the one I use. I'm going to do the chisel, the chisel look. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, now I got a little um, highlighter thing, but I don't, it's, it's, it's liquid and I don't really care nothing about it. So, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to do this right here. And then... This to highlight the cheeks, and then we gonna then we gonna do that other highlighter, okay? This to give y'all cheeks some definition. I don't like to do this too much because I don't, my, my cheekbones are very high. So this is for people to get that, that. That chisel look. I think it's hard to do a.
it's kind of hard to do a chisel look when you already got chiseled. Y'all see that? Can y'all y'all can see that? Look at that light and then that blue. Look at that. See that? You see the light blue and then you see the dark blue. Look at that. Looky, looky. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wet my tissue now because it's, you know, I've gotten off the dry part, but I think it's. Oh, okie dokie on and y'all, my skin is very sensitive. When I wipe stuff down, I have to be careful because it turns red real fast. Ooh. I have to be careful. Okay. Okay, so I got the chisel look. Might need to put a little more. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're going to do the highlighter. Y'all like that chisel? Look, look at that. Now look at that. Check it out, y'all. Now see, it's supposed to line up. See that look lining up with the chisel look? See that? It's lining up with the brush. See that? So if you're not sure, if you're not sure how to do it, just suck your cheeks in like this. This is a trick. And when you're getting ready to make the lines, when you're getting ready to put the lines there and do the contouring, suck in your cheeks so you can make that perfect um, high cheekbone chisel. Because this is, it helps to give you that chisel look, okay? And I'm going to use the gold. I'm going to use this here for the, um, the highlight. I think this is the blush and this is the highlight. I want to use the highlight. Y'all see that? See that? See that highlight? Ooh, look at it. Looky, looky. Okay, so let me, I'm going to, you see I highlighted my nose and Cupid's bow. And I might have to do it right here just to make it. Oh, 
Okay. And I'm gonna do the chiseled nose look for y'all, and then we gonna then I'm gonna be done. Okay. So we wanna do hit from here. Let me get. See you guys. So I look Photoshop ready. Okay. And then we're going to do the, um, let's do the chisel nose. So you're going to go down here just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Uh-oh. Here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Now can y'all see how that... Can you see how that gives you a defined look? But I'm going to fix this. Don't worry. This is just... Give me a second. This is to give you the look of a chiseled nose. Or a smaller nose. Whatever you want to call it. And, and what I do is get a tiny brush to define to to um to define the chisel when I get ready to rub it in. Okay, let me find another one because I didn't find the one I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. And this is to rub it in so it look more natural. Okay. See, so you have look to the side, see the chisel look. It get makes your 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 nose look a little slender. Okay. And I can break this down into several videos and I will do the um the cupid's bow and the nose. I'll do a chisel. If y'all want to see the chiseled video just put chisel nose video and i'll do it okay because you know so you guys will get that and and i'll do not only will i do that but i also do i also do the um oops i also do the um uh what do they call it the um uh do the chisel for the, the cheekbones and the nose. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I was trying to. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what I was doing right there, but y'all like it? Y'all like it? So, yeah, this is my this is my chisel look, y'all. I was trying to part my bangs so y'all can kind of get a a look, but um Yeah, this is the chisel look. This is the the gradient eye with this the it's the white, it's the light turquoise and then it's the darker shade of turquoise and i use the la colors shade because it's more pigmented this clean palette here it's it's too light the the blue here is is too light 
but it's cool. But I, the lighter shades seem to work for the, the gradient effect. But when it comes to heavily pigmented shades, LA Colors won out hands down. But I don't want to elongate the video. I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you want to see the chisel video i'll do the nose and i do the cheeks and um i do the cupid's bow and I, i'll do the contouring for that and let you see how to have that look um i'm so happy it turned out good you guys look at that check it out look at that light look at that light color going from light to dark i'm so proud of myself you know now, the one thing that I didn't do, I didn't do the the um, eyeliner thing. So, if y'all want to see that, let me see. I normally do, I normally do the eyeliner. I don't feel like doing that today. I'll do that another day. But y'all have seen me do the video with the eyeliner. But I really wanted you to get the effect of the color and the gradient look. Um, I will do some other videos with this. But I, I never finish until I do the eyeliner line. Because you never want anybody to see where your lashes start and end. Okay. Especially if you have um, false lashes. Okay. Matter of fact, I might do one eye. Let me do one eye. See if it'll let me. See, so I did one so y'all can. Wait a minute. So y'all can see. Mm. Oh Lord, now I'm just messing stuff up. Now y'all can see. See how thick that is? <clears throat> y'all see how thick that is? I ain't mean to make it so thick. But then you got an eye. You got a one with the the mascara line. And then you just got one without it. So you can see. See how that goes? Okay. I didn't feel like doing both eyes because when I get done with this video, I'm going to wipe all of this off of my face. Yes, I'm not going anywhere. I'm done for the day. So I just want to say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you always know what time, every time that I upload a new video. And um, if you want to see the chisel video, please let me know and I will do a video just on the chisel and highlight the chisel so you can see. I wish you could see me in person. I have this dewy glow on my face like, oh my goodness, cute <sighs> Okay, so um, I don't know how I got, I got. I shouldn't even put the mascara on the eyeliner. I just got it everywhere. But, um, yeah, you guys, don't forget to just let me know um, if you want to see the chisel video. And I will actually do the chisel video. If you want to see the eye video, I'll do the eye video. I'll break it down into videos so you can get the whole thing. I'll do the foundation where you, know, where you blend out the foundation and stuff like that. So, I love you, Trendsetter Gang. I still got my nails on. Look, this one bent, y'all. And guess what? Look at it. You can tell. 
and it's still going. It's not doing. These nails are durable. Look, Kiss Nails is the bomb, okay? I just want to tell y'all, like, they need to make me the ambassador, but, you know, I, got, I ain't got enough subscribers to get that done. But y'all need to view this. Y'all need to view these um, videos about the nails and the makeup. But um, they love. I love these kids' nails. They second to none. I don't know no nails that is as durable as these. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm. I love you, Trinset again. Bye.